Hello, dear friends. I do not want to give false hope, but there are signs and signals that the divine plan is working in the long term, despite the apparent storm clouds on the near horizon. Opinion piece. Positive signs. The veil will be lifted. 2023 could be the year. No one knows the exact date. They have all the information. Perfect timing is expected. The institution of world leaders. The biggest change of all time. Thousands of Spaniards protest in Madrid. Temporary blockade of Cajamar in Spain. Chinese New Year with a golden snake. E.T. spacecraft in orbit around the Earth. Good guys allow bad guys to destroy themselves. Charlie Watt rectified to mislead the bad guys. Let's start. A sign is a mark, a trace, a remnant of something, a, a symptom, a suspicion and an indication. A sign is a proof that something is happening, an immaterial sign or token of something, a feature or note in things to make them know and distinguish them from others, a vestige or impression left of something, by which one comes to know of it, or a prodigy or something extraordinary and out of the natural order. Positive means setting, effective, true and beyond doubt. A work of positive merit that implies the existence or presence of, of something useful, practical or beneficial. According to Peter B. Mayer, 2023 could be the year of our liberation from debt bondage. Behind the scenes, we are already a long way towards this goal. Confident in the plan, he continues, in quotes, we have all the information and our coalition has the luxury of waiting for the perfect moment to deliver the death blow to the dark side. No wonder the wicked are panicking. The world is on the threshold of permanent peace. This is a feat of the highest caliber accomplished with the help of our cosmic brethren. All forces are returning to their home port. Will this extraordinary news make the headlines? Of course, it will not. The dark side still controls the media and they are desperate to prevent people from knowing the truth. So we have good reason to hope for a prosperous and healthy new year 2023. For the first time, we will truly live as free inhabitants of planet Earth to develop as our Creator intended, without war, hunger, poverty and misery. The sleepers, who know nothing yet, can wake up and understand none of this. All who are incarnated here now are having their last experience in duality. This existence will determine who will go to the new 5D Earth, that is, to the new cycle, which is no longer one of reconciliation and testing. And those who are not yet in the necessary frequency will disappear and will have to redo their lessons on another three-dimensional planet in the universe. This exchange of souls on Earth has been going on for decades. The soul that is not at the desired frequency will not reincarnate on planet Earth. No exiled soul can stay here, so those take another travel destination. There are thousands of ED ships in the atmosphere around the Earth which receive these souls. Dot. Upon receiving them, they are informed that they are not yet at the frequency necessary to inherit the new Earth. Comforted by spirits who selfishly assist them, they are guided to what awaits them. Then they will know that they will leave Earth to complete their apprenticeship on other planets of testing and reconciliation. After receiving them into the spaceships, as they are 
already dis disincarnated, they will be taken into the astral of their new planet. They will not be reincarnated immediately, as is commonly believed. This is preceded by a process of energetic adaptation. Change of leaders. We will see more clearly in this year 2023 the removal of most of the world leaders, precisely that reptilian hybrid part that is part of the matrix of the dominant dark side. There will no cleanse as already mentioned, is already in its final phase. Everything that doesn't have a light frequency will cease to exist. The veil that holds our souls captive on this planet will be lifted through the process of reincarnation in order to free humankind and evolve as the Creator intended for us. Exotic technology will come available that will fix everything that goes wrong on Earth and can keep us young and healthy. In their obsession with questions such as when will revelation come, most people rarely ask useful questions about what might happen. Some of the most fascinating developments to come are related to science and technology. Anyone who is not on Earth's specific frequency for awakening, that is, who is not open to the incoming ascension energies or to the incoming waves of harmonic resonance leading to unity consciousness, will have to transform or fail and fold. The Storm Rider claims that the collapse of the financial system has begun with the cryptocurrency debacle and that the White Hats have threatened the Davos elite with little information messages. The ripple effect is being felt across, across the world as European cryptocurrencies begin to fill the squeeze and hundreds of millions are lost daily. White Hats are sending messages through cryptocurrency companies whose origin cannot be discovered, which is causing panic. Inside sources reveal that these messages contain private information of the heads of major companies, president of countries, vice presidents, elites, etc. And the messages contain all their private information and their contacts with fraud, corruption, money laundering, human trafficking, and pedophilia. These messages have appeared at the Davos Forum and have caused panic and infighting among the leaders. Economic Report X2022 X22, I mean. According to Big Swire, globalism is finished and the good guys are allowing the bad guys to destroy their own system. In doing so, they will destroy globalism and fiat currency. Countries are now moving to their national currencies and as soon as nations transition to the gold system, this will end central banking. According to Mark Sira, nobody knows the exact date except the handful of people pulling the trigger. Do I, I still think January is possible? Absolutely. They could pull the trigger at any time. It is common knowledge that the banks have new treasury notes printed in their vaults. The Chinese began their new year with a big golden snake crossing the water. It was the festive parade of the golden dragons of the Yulong River. Charlie Watts said that everything would be finished in January and then back tra track it. Remember how Kuwait did the same then revalued its currency a day or two later. Remember how Russia denied all the rumors and then went into Ukraine. Didn't they tell us it would all be crazy in the end? A general and the world come out and announce that they are preparing to do something to throw their enemy off the scent. Don't follow your intellectual instincts. Follow your gut instincts. Your heart has a mind and 
and intelligence and it will never lead you in the wrong direction. It is our moral and truth compass and that is why it was given to us. In this crazy world we have something inside us that we can always trust to give us the truth. That is our heart. Listen what to what your heart is telling you. You may call it a spirit, you may call it the soft and gentle voice, or it may simply be a gut feeling. But know that the initial information you receive in your gut is always the truth. Davos. Elon Musk calls Western elites, elites satanic. In quotes. He posted the message. The Davos Forum is increasingly becoming an unelected world government that people never asked for and don't want. Millions of Twitter users have rejected the forum's idea of a global dictatorship in Nepal. More than 2 million people voted, with more than 80% rejecting the idea that the forum should control the world. Controversial Swedish activist Greta Thunberg warns, in quotes, Right now we are in Davos, where basically the people who are mostly fooled in the destruction of the planet, they are prioritizing self-greed, corporate greed, and short-term economic gains over people and over the planet. These people are going to go as far as they can go, as long as they can get away with it. Europe. Spain will not send Leopard tanks to Ukraine just like Germany. Cajamar's financial services in Spain are back to normal after an internal technical incident that has affected servers and operating systems over the last few days. Thousands of people demonstrated in Madrid against Sanchez and the political drift that Spain has taken. The organizers claim that it's not about left, right or center, but about defending democracy, amid shouts of government resigns. How do you remove troublesome presidents? Tucker, Tucker Carlson provides an excellent 12-minute report on the impeachment of President Nixon and Kennedy. The global food and fuel crisis sparked a surge in protests in countries across Europe in 2022, according to an to American University research. Allies failed to persuade Germany to send tanks to Ukraine. Turkey accuses Sweden of violating its agreement to join NATO. Norway's ferry company bans electric vehicles due to fire risk. Radio signal captured from a galaxy nearly 9 billion light years away. New England Journal of Medicine says natural immunity is better than three doses. And an anti abortion demonstration fills the streets of Washington. General Berger is being treated for burns, fractures, lacerations, and blunt force trauma, and it expected to recover. Ron Klein will resign as Biden's chief of staff, according to administration officials. The U.S. Merchant Marine Academy covers a painting of Jesus protecting sailors lost at sea. Americas. Lula ousts oust Brazil's army chief Julio Cesar de Arruda. Peru closes Machu Picchu due to protests against Dina Boluarte. Important announcement from Lord Zafiel Elohim. For various personal reasons that require my time and presence elsewhere, my attendance at the Buenos Aires event El Origen at the end of February is suspended. At the same time, I also announced the reduction of transmissions and other participation in the transit process towards the total destruction of this our place. In the hope that the rescue will be as soon as possible, stay away from any cheap speculation of sleepy awakenings 
about good news or changes for the better. The only reset you can experience is that of the mark of the beast. They will try to unite you through false wars, shortages, plagues and natural disasters. Cosmic consciousness wanted to play in and with matter. And we have already reached the ultimate error. Now this matter has to disappear to, to give back the result of our experience in the form of cosmic consciousness. Everything goes out and returns to the same place and everything is and will always be cosmic consciousness in action. Let us continue together with faith and in psychotronic unification, recognizing the grand plan ever onward to the creation of the no sphere, the new universal mind, and to the configuration of the new galactic humankind. May the strength and power of knowledge be with us. Ananahasha, Ananahasha, Ananahasha. And that's all for today. Thanks a lot, dear friends.